if you buy good items, you will list good items and therefore you will sell good items. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you 10 brands that have sold really well for me for $35 or more, more than once. Make sure you watch this video till the end for the bonus segment on three categories or combinations, I should say, that also sell for $35 or more. Also, don't forget to snag your free Poshmark Strategies Checklist. What's up, resellers? I'm Rebecca, and you're watching Rebecca the Reseller. Thanks for joining me today. If you are new here, hi, <laughs> I'm Rebecca, and I'm a semi-full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, I sell on ThreadUp, and I dabble in a few other things. My channel is all about reselling, how to sell clothes on Poshmark, Poshmark selling tips, and how to make money on Poshmark. So if that sounds good to you, I really hope that you will hit the subscribe button so we can hang out again. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, I'm gonna go through this list pretty quickly. And while I do, I'm just gonna kind of scroll through over here on the side. I pulled up all of my solds from the brands that I'm going to be talking about. So they are all right here. I'll be honest with you, my graphic skills are kind of limited. I don't know how to get all of these kinds of pictures and things into my video at this point, maybe someday in the future. But these are all of the solds that have sold for the brands that I'm gonna be talking about for $35 or more. And as you can see, some of them have sold more than one for over the $35. And that's why they are on the list. So let's dive in. Brand number 10, I'm going to go from 10 to one. Brand number 10 is Torrid. Here you can see one right here, a Torrid Black Rose off the shoulder skater dress sold for $39. I love selling Torrid. I think it's a great, super trendy, super fun plus size brand and their dresses and some outerwear and items of a more substantial type can go for decent money because for what they are, they are priced a little bit high, but people are looking for this brand. The next brand is Disney Parks. Let's go ahead and find this. So I'm not talking about any Disney item. It's down here in the corner. It's a Disney Parks orange bird dress fit and flare style. This sold for $50. Now this is not any kind of Disney. This is either a highly sought after Disney, something like those spirit jerseys or one of these kinds of dresses. But the Disney that I'm talking about is Disney Parks. So they're items that you can only get at the Disney Parks. They say Disney Parks authentic for a while. I used to sell the little girl dresses and costumes that were like the Bippity Boppity Boo Boutique and like all of that kind of thing where it was like Frozen Elsa, Frozen Anna, all the different little dresses and costumes for little girls and they would go for good money. So if you can find something that is Disney Parks authentic and it's an item of some sort of substantial piece, a dress, a sweatshirt, those things are expensive and people are willing to pay for them. Next up is number eight, Bowdoin. I love selling Bowdoin. Most of the time you can find a stock photo for it, like some of these brands that I've talked about, Torrid is the same way. But for Bowdoin, I really like it because it's a nice quality piece. Like here you can see these two, there's a leaf print blouse. Then there's this other, it was like a British kind of themed blouse. I've sold a dresses from Bowdoin. There's a Bowdoin silk dress. There's a Bowdoin midi dress. There's some more Bowdoin in here. Here's another navy blue. You know, it's a classic preppy style. People seek it out. It is pretty expensive. Most of their dresses are well over $100. So you can definitely count on at least a $35 sale for a dress specifically, perhaps even a blouse or a sweater. Next up, number seven is Trina Turk. Now, many people say that they don't want to sell Trina Turk or the only kinds of items that they want to sell are Trina Turk swimwear, which can typically do well and go over well. But for me, I don't mind selling a Trina Turk dress, whether it's on Poshmark, and that's what we're talking about here specifically, or even thread up, you can sell Trina Turk dresses that are nice for over $35 for sure. There was one that I just had up here. So there's the Trina Turk Kirby oil painting dress. Recently, I just sold one on ThreadUp as well. Number six is Diane Von Furstenberg. I love love, love selling DVF on Poshmark. I also like selling it on ThreadUp as well. It's a good brand for both places, but DVF dresses typically do well. I have a couple here. Here's a DVF new Julian 2 jersey wrap dress that sold for 40. I have another one here, the DVF square tan dress tunic in blue that sold for $65. So her items, you know, can retail for three and $400. And so you should at least be able 
able to get $35 for a dress. On ThreadUp, I can get in the 50s to 70s to 80s. And on Poshmark, I've gotten from, you know, 40 to, as you can see here, 65. So you definitely can get a good price for Diane von Furstenberg. Now's a great time to show me a little bit of love and give this video a thumbs up, please. Okay, next up, number five is Brooks Brothers. And you may hear that people don't like selling Brooks Brothers. I will tell you, I have definitely sold my share of Brooks Brothers items for less than $35. So your typical button down top or even some of the pants maybe won't go for 35 plus, but I have consistently sold several Brooks Brothers items, whether it's a cardigan like this right here, 346 Brooks Brothers Argyle cardigan, or even a blazer or even a dress for $35 and higher without a problem. Number four is a brand called Worth. And check me, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I do think that I saw that they were going out of business. And actually, a few of these other brands might be going out of business too. But Worth is a very expensive retail brand. And I've sold all kinds of pieces, both on Poshmark and on ThreadUp. I don't have any showing here because sometimes when you search on Poshmark for brands, it doesn't recognize the brand, oddly enough, but I've sold cashmere a cardigan, full zip. I've sold a dress for like $80. So whether it's Poshmark or whether it's ThreadUp, the brand called Worth, not to be confused with Worthington, Worth can be a really great seller. Number three is probably one of my favorite brands to sell like overall in general. Forget about $35, forget about anything else. I love selling Everlane. Everlane goes so smoothly on Poshmark. You can usually find a stock photo. They have names of things which always make it easy to kind of figure out what it is, this thing that I have. You can search for it, use some keywords, and then you can usually find another similar one to find out exactly what it is, and then you can do more research. It's a popular brand, and I've sold a ton of it. As you can see here, Everlane Slim Wool Trousers for $40, Everlane the Slouchy Trouser for $35, Everlane the Slim Wool Trouser for $35. I've sold tops, I've sold pants, I've sold all kinds of Everlane. I just recently put up a few different, I don't know if I have any more down here on the bottom. Here's another Everlane, the Ponty Skinny, that was for $49. I usually put them up kind of high knowing that I'm going to accept an offer and that's okay with me. I have sold some Everlane for less than 35, some of the less substantial pieces like a t-shirt or things like that. But if you have cashmere or sweater or pants, I'm recently putting up a dress, I think. I already took photos of it. It's probably gonna go up later this week. Really nice dress. Everlane can do the trick. Number two is a brand called Babaton. And Babaton, I understand it as a brand that is sold through Aritzia. Some other brands by Aritzia you might know are Wilfred, Wilfred Free. And those are also good sellers. But I'm specifically talking about Babaton as I've been able to get it more, more recently and I've been selling it for sometimes $50, sometimes $40, sometimes $35. The items that I put up get a lot of likes and a lot of traction, and so I really do think that this is a great brand. If you're not familiar with it, you may want to keep your eyes out for it. So here's one specifically, Aritzia Babaton Kirby Long Belted Sweater in an extra, extra small. That sold for $50. Don't forget to watch this video till the end for the categories and combinations that I have and will share with you that also sell for $35 or more. Also, don't forget to snag that free Poshmark Strategies Checklist. Okay, ha, we made it to the last one. My number one favorite selling brand for over $35. Can you guess it? I bring it up in my What Sold videos. You might have seen it on the screen here in force. It's Eileen Fisher. Now this probably isn't a brand that's new to you. I'm not sharing earth shattering news here, but I do share this as a reminder because I have consistently sold Eileen Fisher for $35 or more over and over and over again. And I've even sold Eileen Fisher for $20 or more, even more times. So this is a consistent seller. It is highly sought after. And if you can get it for one to three, maybe even $4 and focus more on the more substantial pieces like jackets, sweaters, coats, 
a pants top and pants set, things like that, you can do really well. But here you can see this Eileen Fisher silk loose tank top sold for $35. Now that does have free shipping on it, which is something to note. But like the Eileen Fisher knit stretch pants all day long, those were bought at full price at $50. This asymmetric sweater, $35. Uh, Eileen Fisher linen blouse, full price 50. Actually, that might have been a bundle. I had somebody buy four Eileen Fisher items. And the other thing I will say, this is a great seller both on ThreadUp and on Poshmark. And so you have to decide what works best for you. But I like to sell the larger sizes on Poshmark myself. And I like to send the smaller sizes to ThreadUp to sell there. So that's just a little tip on Eileen Fisher as far as the nuances go. Which one of these brands do you like selling the most? Which one of these are new to you? Comment down below. Okay, so here we are with the bonus segment talking about some combinations or categories that also typically and consistently sell for $35 or more. So number three is plus size swimsuits. I love selling plus size swimsuits. Anywhere I can find a plus size swimsuit, whether it's pre-owned or whether it's new, obviously new because it's a swimsuit usually does better. But anytime you can find a plus size swimsuit, it can do well. Now it's good if it's a flattering style, if it has the keywords, flattering, slimming, things like that. Obviously brands like Miracle Suit will do really well for you, but I've even sold no name brands and even brands like Lauren Ralph Lauren and they've done really well and they've sold for way over $35. So don't forget about plus size swimsuits. The next one, number two, you guys probably already know what it is. I talk about it all the time. It's cashmere. <laughs> I love selling cashmere. I sell cashmere in the winter. I sell cashmere in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, any time of year I list it, any time of year it sells. Last year I sold a lot, was it last year? Maybe it was the year before. 2020 was like, you know, the blank year. Maybe it was 2019. <laughs> I sold cashmere like even in May. So people will buy cashmere whether it's lounge sets and pants, whether it's sweaters, whether it's like tank top shell type of thing, like people will buy cashmere anything. Now, obviously if it's 100% cashmere, that's gonna be better. Obviously if it has a really great brand attached to it, that's gonna do better. But I've sold Apartment 9, which is a Kohl's brand, that kind of cashmere. I've sold Charter Club, which is a Macy's house brand that kind of cashmere that does well then i've sold kind of a bread and butter cashmere like ann taylor cashmere sweaters every time they sell for 35 dollars or more and then you can get really great cashmere brands like all the designers and the vents and all the things so those can obviously bring in more money but maybe be harder to find for you so don't forget about the cashmere and really try to pay attention when you do go through the sweater section on what cashmere looks and feels like the last one that i have for you it's kind of like a combo it's zara outerwear let's say it together zara outerwear yes please <laughs> so let me show you real quick what i am talking about right here i have a zara green oversized sweater coat that sold for 50 dollars, and then another one a zara handmade oversized red wool coat and that sold for 70 dollars. and i'll tell you those are probably even on the lower end of what i could have held out for with those particular items i wanted to try my hand at it i paid up for these items at a buy sell trade store and i was getting scared i didn't want to sit on it forever and i was afraid then that it wouldn't sell so i let them go at these lower offers but i had them up for like in the hundred not hundreds but over a hundred don't be afraid if you really feel confident about something to sit on it for a little bit especially if you're at the beginning of the season for something like outerwear. I was coming to the end of the season, which is why I didn't want to sit on them. But if it were a few months earlier and I had listed these, let's say at the end of the summer, early fall, and I got low offers like this, 50 and $70, I probably wouldn't have taken them. I probably would have waited to get things more in the 70 to $100 range and know that I had the whole season to sell them. So do keep that in mind. If there's a brand 
that has a particular category that does well, then don't worry yourself with all the things from that brand. I don't pick up every Zara. I do like selling Zara and it's one of my favorite bread and butter brands to sell overall, but not every Zara will sell for over $35. But you bet your butt, a Zara outerwear piece, pretty much if it's good quality and the right kind of thing, should be selling for $35 or more easily. All right, it is time to get your free Poshmark strategies checklist. Now you can find that in the description of any of my videos down below. But in fact, since this video is over, why don't you watch the next video that comes up down here and then you can get your Poshmark strategies checklist. Bye.